Hi guys, this is Kata and in this video I'm going to talk about reading in English when you are uh, not a native English speaker. And this video was requested quite some time ago, but I finally got around to do it actually. And if you have been watching my videos, you might know that I'm Hungarian, so English is not my uh, first language, but it is a, a foreign language that I have studied in school. And I started reading in English, uh, I think, four or five years ago. And I started reading in English because of the Twilight series. I read Twilight in Hungarian and I wanted to continue with the series but at that time New Moon wasn't out in Hungarian because it was still being translated but I couldn't wait so I decided just to uh, order the book in English and that's how I basically started reading in English and back then I was I think 17 or 18 years old and I have been studying English uh, since I was 10 I think so I did have some knowledge in English and I I was in a, in a class in high school where we studied English, um, you know, in a more adv advanced level, I guess. And so I wasn't too afraid of starting uh, reading in English, but it was kind of uh, intimidating at first. And my advice uh, for you, if you are not an English speaker but you want to start reading in English, is just to try to not translate what you read but just to try to understand it because if you try to un uh, translate every single word you are gonna be stuck on a page for a long long time and it's going to frustrate you and um, what I did is actually I only looked up words um, that um, that was in the book a lot of times and I felt like it had um, a very important meaning uh, in the story, so I only looked those up, but otherwise I just tried to understand the story altogether, and I wasn't bothered if I didn't understand an exact word in a sentence. Also, I think it would be quite good to start with a book that has an easier language, um, so not start with the most uh, um, complex sci-fi book, but start with a contemporary book, because most likely in a contemporary book you won't find um, very uh, difficult words or expressions, but it, it would be basic English and that would help you get into the um, whole reading in English thing. And also one thing that I think helped me in English altogether is watching TV shows uh, in English and with English subtitles because um, if you do that you just uh, get used to the language itself and and even if you don't understand every single word, you understand the whole thing and and I think that's what matters because you don't need to translate it. If I were to translate a book or a page, it would take me so long because a lot of times I have no idea what a word means so I can't find the Hungarian version uh, to that word but I could um, explain what it means but, could, uh, but I wouldn't be able to find just one word um, to translate it into. And I think that's the same with books, so just try to understand it um, as a whole and not sentence by sentence. And back then when I started reading in English, I couldn't do it as easily as I do it now, so it definitely, um, it definitely will get better, I promise you. And I think it's just really cool if you can read in a foreign language and I'm not, I'm not saying that just to make myself look cool because I studied um, German and Spanish in school too and I could not speak a word of both of those languages to save my life so no, it's only English that I can speak moderately well but from time to time I do get insecure about my English because you know it's not it's not my mother language so of course I can speak it as well as I can speak Hungarian for example and yeah in my previous video I get a comment and I'm not trying to be mean uh, for bringing it up but it did kinda hurt my feelings and you know that comment was basically about how every second or third uh, word uh, in that video was um or ow oh, and yeah yeah that might be true because you know, it's it's not my mother language. It's I have to think about what I'm going to say, and even then, I make a lot of errors. And I'm sorry if that was annoying to any of you or to that person who left that comment. But yeah, you know, just reading something like that, it's 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 not fun because I try so hard uh, when it comes to these videos, especially speaking in English. Because even though I have been studying this language for quite a few years. It's still really hard because 
um, you have to think about everything and you have to think about everything in advance and yeah I'm sorry I, I took this video in a whole another direction but uh, yeah so I do get insecure about my English but reading in English definitely helps it um, helps that but yeah I don't really have a lot of advices when it comes to reading in English just the thing that I kept repeating like don't translate it just understand it and um, also uh, it was kind of hard to find English books where I live because I there's basically only one shop that would sell English books and the prices were crazy high so I had to you know order from online and um, that was kind of hard at the beginning because I did I couldn't find you know uh, websites where the shipping was kind of good so the prices were low and stuff like that but yeah if you want to if you want me to make a video on where I order my books from as an international um, reader I guess uh, so if you want websites with good international shipping and you if you want me to talk about those kind of things then leave a comment in the comment section below and I think I'm going to wrap this video up and I hope a lot of you will try out reading in English if you are a non-English speaker or not a native English speaker because because it's fun and it helps a lot and I think it's just really cool and yeah I will see you guys very soon bye bye